The Nufi Field 75HE is here and basically adds more gaming centric features to a very gaming looking keyboard. This keyboard was sent over to me by Nufi themselves for my honest review, so that is exactly what we're gonna do. As of recording this video, this keyboard starts at a price point of $149.95 and only comes in one colorway, which I personally still think looks quite nice. And you have the option between two switches, the magnetic white switch and the magnetic jade switch. I have the magnetic white switch here today, but they are both linear switches with a 30 gram initial force and a 50 gram end force. The only real difference is that the magnetic white has a 0.1 to 4 millimeter total travel distance, magnetic jade, which has a 0.1 to 3.3 millimeter total travel distance. Inside the box, you get the keyboard itself, and I will say the packaging is quite nice. You also get a color matched cable, a color matched switch and keycap puller, and some extra keycaps as well. Now, the features for this keyboard that make this an HE version versus their standard Field 75 is the fact that this keyboard features Hall Effect switches. And what that means is that you can change the actuation point per switch and it also offers more gaming centric features such as rapid trigger. Think of this being as another booting keyboard competitor that is entering the scene. Now in terms of looks, I will have to hand it to them. It does have its own distinct design and I do think it looks quite nice and stands out from all of the other standard gaming keyboards that we're seeing having these Hall Effect switches. So props to them for that. But this is a fully plastic keyboard, but it does have south facing hot swap sockets. It is a top mounted keyboard and not a tray mounted keyboard, but they do still use a steel plate, which is personally not my favorite plate material to use. But another big pro is the fact that this keyboard supports 8K Hertz polling rates, which is crazy and has a volume knob on the left hand side, which I personally like, a little switch to change it between three different modes. You have gaming mode, windows mode, and Mac mode, and then the knob above that switch controls the RGB mode and brightness. And of course you have eight customizable buttons, four underneath the spacebar, and the other four underneath that switch I was talking about. So a lot of customizability in this keyboard. And me personally, I don't really use macro keys a lot, but it is great to see that you at least have that option with this keyboard. Now, unfortunately, this keyboard does not support QMK or VIA, but they do offer their own software. Now, usually that's a bad thing, but this one is via Google Chrome or just a browser based. So all you have to do is connect your keyboard to the browser and you don't have to download anything. The UI is very clean and it is easy to get around and change the settings and know what everything does. Here's a quick sound test. You guys can hear how it sounds. Overall, I think the sound profile of this keyboard is very dead. It kind of sounds like they put a bunch of foam into it and that steel plate really doesn't do this keyboard any justice or help it at all. That's just my personal preference, of course. You might like how it sounds. When it comes to the feel side of things, I do think they missed the ballpark entirely when it comes to these switches, and we'll get into that. But first, I want to talk about the pros of these switches. They are very smooth. I do believe they are pre-lubed, but the issues arise when, if you remember correctly, I told you that the actuation force of this switch is 30 grams, while the final force is 50 grams. 
you know this keyboard has 8k hertz polling rate it has all these rapid trigger modes but i still feel like when i'm playing rhythm games at least my fingers get tired a lot faster because the further down you press the heavier it gets and i really think that is not a good thing to have in a gaming focused keyboard thankfully it is hot swappable but only hot swappable with Hall effect switches. Now, is this keyboard very good? Yes, I think it has a lot of great features and has a lot to offer, but at the end of the day, I think the switches completely missed the mark in my opinion. If you wanted to check out this keyboard, I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below for you to check out, but let me know what you guys thought about the new fee Field 75 HE in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.